Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to disable automatic updates permanently in your Windows machine. Now, the first step, what I'm going to talk about is how to disable automatic updates temporarily. In the following steps, you would see how to disable the automatic updates permanently on the computer. Now, the first method to disable the updates temporarily, you can do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you're on the settings, you will have to go ahead and click on Windows Update. Under this, you have an option to pause the updates for a few weeks. In case if you want to pause the updates for one, two, or four or five weeks, you can use any of these options so that you can temporarily pause the Windows updates or temporarily in your Windows machine. Now, to pause the updates for 20 years, there are a couple of steps which you need to try. The first thing is you will have to make some registry changes. To do this, you will have to open registry editor. To open registry editor, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on run. In the run window, you will have to go ahead and type reg edit. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Now, before I could walk you through the registry, when you are making any changes to the registry, please be sure that you are making the correct changes to the registry. In case if you make incorrect changes, there are chances that your computer may not function properly. Now, once you have the registry editor open, you will have to collapse all the registry keys so that it is in this structure. In case if it is in the expanded format, you can go ahead and collapse it by clicking on this arrow and that should bring back your registry structure in this view. Now, once you are on this uh, view, you will have to go ahead and expand HK local machine. Under HK local machine, you will have to go ahead and expand software. Under software, you will have to go ahead and locate for Microsoft, expand Microsoft. Under Microsoft, you will have to go ahead and locate for Windows Update. It would be in alphabetical order. So you will have to highlight Windows Update. Under Windows Update, you will have to expand and then locate for UX. And under UX, you will have to go ahead and select settings. Once you're on the settings, on the right hand side, you will have to go ahead and locate if there is a key for flight settings max pause days. I will mention that in the video description. In case if you don't see that particular registry entry, what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and create that key by doing a right click, then click on new and then choosing the D word 32 bit. You can paste the exact text from the video description and hit enter. Now, in case if you have this registry, all you have to do is you will have to go ahead and change the value. In case if you're creating one, you will, like it, you will have to do a right click and then click on modify. In any which ways to pause the updates for 20 years, you can go ahead and copy and paste the value from the video description to 0001C84. Click on OK. Once you do this, you can minimize the registry and then you can go back to the windows update settings by doing a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you're on the settings you can go to the windows update under windows update you will see an option for pause updates and now you can go ahead and pause updates beyond five weeks in case if you want to pause updates to 20 years then you can choose it for 1042 weeks with this what will happen is your windows update will be paused for 20 years and you can choose any of these options here. Once that is done, you should not be seeing any updates automatically installing on your Windows. Now, this is how you can pause the updates for 20 years. The next method, what I'm going to walk you through is to go ahead and disable the automatic updates permanently on the computer. To do this, you will have to open registry. You can do a right click on the start button and then click on run. In the run window, you may go ahead and type reg edit. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. In case if your registry is in this format, you can go ahead and collapse that registry entry so that you can view it correctly and make sure it is in this view. And like I said, when you're making any changes to the registry, be sure what changes you're making. If you make an incorrect changes, there are chances that your computer might go to a no boot. Now, once you're on this registry, you will have to go ahead and expand HK local machine and then look for software. It would be in alphabetical order. Expand software and then look for policies. Expand policies and then locate for Microsoft. Expand Microsoft and then go ahead and choose or select Windows. Once you have selected or expanded Windows, you can go ahead and do a right click on Windows and then click on new and choose key name this key as AU and hit enter once you have created this registry key 
you will have to go ahead and create a new 32 bit value so you can highlight au the new key what you have created do a right click and then click on new and choose d word 32 bit under this you will have to go ahead and enter the value as no auto update no auto update make sure you enter this value correctly once you have updated this key you can hit enter now the value will be the data value will be set to zero to turn the automatic updates permanently you will have to change the value from zero to one you can do a right click and then click on modify change the value to one click on ok close registry editor restart your computer and that should disable automatic updates permanently in your windows machine so this is how you can go ahead and disable the automatic updates in your windows machine i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day